Ag AM in Kansas brought to you in part by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. My name is Dustin Conrad. Um, I work for a farmer out here in Solomon, Kansas. And uh, this year we decided to modify our 8013 in fast applicator that we bought last winter. We decided to use it not just for side dressing row crop, we were deciding to use it to top dress our wheat with the theory of it helping getting into the soil and staying um, better in the ground, less evaporation, things like that. So I came up with an idea one day to build this little bracket design right here and Y off the feed lines for the injectors and put it on 15 inch centers. So that way we have one coulter in the ground, one shooting above the ground. So may, maybe possibly get a little bit different nitrogen use at different times of the year. Primarily we did it so we can utilize this machine instead of paying um, a local fertilizer company or using our big sprayer that would uh, cause a lot of corrosion and such. And because this is already using fertilizer, we decided to put the wear and tear all in one machine. Um, for the design of this add-on, we'll call it, I just took some angle iron and uh, cut them 15 inches long, made a bracket, bolted them on, took some U-bolts, cut some holes in it, took a small piece of stainless pipe with an injector that we all bought, you know, all the stainless parts and hoses and such. We bought from Fast and bolted them on there. We put a shutoff valve in there so we can remove it and still side dress with the machine later. Um, it just uses the very accurate flow nozzle bodies so that way it's getting a central feed to both of those, which then they use check valves to equalize the pressure between the injectors. On this machine, it's set up on 30 inch rows to side dress behind row crop. It's set up on 15s with this add-on because we think 30 inches is just too wide for top dressing wheat. So we decided that 15s is a, is a good equal number. It's kind of a, a baseline, I guess, for, for row spacings. It, it worked for a lot of reasons, building, construction uh, of the add-ons, things like that. Myself and my boss are both dealers out here in central Kansas for FAST, which they're located out of Mountain Lake, Minnesota. Um, I'm originally from Illinois, that's where I was born and raised. They're kind of prevalent there. And I, uh, that's how I know about them guys. It's something that I brought with me when I moved out here. And um, it's something, I, I worked for them for about a year assembling them. Um, I think they make a great product. They use a great powder coat paint. They have a, a real classy looking design. They're simple, they're unique. As their slogan says, they're built by farmers for farmers. If anybody would ever have any questions or the desire to purchase one of these, myself, I'm a dealer. You can feel free to call me anytime at 785-202-2309. If you wanna talk about the fast products, they sell everything from pull type sprayers to applicators, track tanks, smaller machines, boom mounted sprayers, three point mounted applicator bars. If anybody would ever be interested in my little design of uh, modifying this unit or another unit to top dress weed, if you're interested in it, please feel free to call me at any time. If you like, you may send me an email at dstncnrd28 at gmail.com. The Kansas Wheat Innovation Center in Manhattan is rediscovering ways to get improved varieties and new genetics in the hands of farmers faster. Grower-led and checkoff-funded research initiatives are bringing about positive change. This grassroots leadership provides a strong voice in Topeka and Washington, D.C. Now is the time to partner with Kansas Wheat in moving wheat forward. Kansas Wheat Commission and Kansas Association of Wheat Growers, farmers investing in their future and yours. Log on to rediscoverwheat.org.